Hey, Scott Lair, president of Military Ferris. I'm your one-stop shop for travel. If you're a member of the military, if you're a veteran like I am, or a family member of a military person, militaryfairs.com. Hotels, airfare, go to militaryfairs.com. Let's talk about big cruise ships versus smaller ones. As I've reported, Carnival Cruise Line is now ordering three more cruise ships. And they're going to be like about as big as the Oasis class of uh, Royal Caribbean, uh, 200,000 tons and uh, a lot of people on board. So there's a lot of discussion out there uh, on the internet. Big ships versus small ships. And I'm gonna discuss the differences. Now, my wife Marty and I have sailed primarily on smaller ships, 1,200 passengers, 2,000 passengers, 2,500 passengers, mostly on Holland America Line. And uh, my favorite ship was the MS Mazdam. It was a small ship very intimate five star food five star service the accommodations were amazing the cabins on holland america on the mazdam were you know like 190 200 square feet i mean they were bigger than usual you know regular cabins on a cruise ship so on the mazdam which has sadly been retired uh i think it, it was sold to another cruise line but it's an older ship my wife and I love the, that more intimate type ship with fewer people on board. Now, why is that? Because when you are on a ship with four, five, six, seven thousand passengers, you know the crowd. It's crowded. Like the elevators are crowded, or going to the comedy club, or going to dinner, or you know trying to find a, a deck chair or anything like that. It can be more challenging. So, my wife and I kind of grew up. <laughs> you know, with the smaller ships. Now, we have about 150 days on Holland America Line, and that's why we loved it so much. Now, when the Eurodam and the New Amsterdam came out, we also went on those ships, and they are bigger than the Mazdam, but they certainly don't hold six, seven, eight thousand uh, passengers. So, but we did enjoy the New Amsterdam, and we did enjoy the Eurodam. Uh, I think we did like a, a seven, couple seven day cruises on Eurodam, and I think that we did our 14-day Southern Caribbean, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, Martinique, St. Bart, St. Kitts, on the Mazdam. But the small ships, we love them. So now let's talk about the bigger ships. As you know, my wife Marty and I were recently on the largest cruise ship in the world to date, the Icon of the Seas uh, by Royal Caribbean. It is a massive ship you know, six, 7,000 passengers on there and, you know, 1,500, 2,000 crew, just a, a huge ship. Now, what are the pluses to a big ship like that? Let me ask you a question. Do you think they have a kid's splash pad on the Mazdam? No. Do you think they have a huge boardwalk on the Mazdam? No. Uh, do you think they have a bunch of uh, specialty restaurants on the Mazdam? No. Do you think they have an ice skating rink on the Mazdam? No. So the, <laughs> the icon, hold on, I've got a, a picture of the icon right here. Icon of the seas right there, okay? Just an amazing ship. <laughs> an amazing ship. The technology, everything about it. And the different, the different rooms, right? You can have an inside cabin, ocean view. You can have a balcony. You have a suite. You can have an, a massive suite that can cost you fifty thousand dollars a week. The thing, the thing about the icon, and I'm laughing about it because my wife and I really, really love the icon. Why? Because we are grandparents, and so to be able to take our uh, six and our four year old grandsons and our upcoming uh, little six-month-old granddaughter. To take them on the icon, I think it would be off the chain because, you know, the kids' clubs and the things that you get to do, the different neighborhoods on the icon, they have like seven different neighborhoods that you can uh, take advantage of. The different restaurants, it was just, and that's why I'm getting all choked up because it's just, the icon is amazing. now. I have not sailed on Oasis or the Allure uh, of Royal Caribbean, but my daughter has sailed on Allure. She said she liked it. But then I got to go back to Virgin Voyages. 
because Virgin Voyages, adults only, no kids, no tipping, no gratuities, great value. You know, that's like a more of a mid-sized ship. That's not a six, 7,000 passenger ship, but it's also not a 1,200 passenger ship. So the, the Scarlet Lady, Resilient Lady, Brilliant Lady, you know, they're more mid-ship, mid-sized ships. But again, they do have lots of different restaurants, lots of activities, uh, lots of deck chairs. It, Virgin Voyage is unlike any cruise I've ever been on. I love Virgin Voyages. If you were to ask me, hey, Scott, hey, what? Would you go back on Virgin Voyages again? That quick. I love Virgin Voyages. Would I go on Holland America? Absolutely. Would I go on Royal Caribbean? Absolutely. But as I mentioned, Carnival is now uh, commissioning three new ships. Uh, I think they're coming out, you know, 2030, 32, and 35, something like that. And they're going to be about the size of the Oasis class ships. But from what I understand, uh, they're going to have more people, more passengers on board than the Oasis class ships. So, I mean, and so there was this question out there by John Heald, who's the senior cruise director of, Hall, uh, of Carnival. And he was asking about big ships versus small ships. Now, listen, I'm 62 years old. I like the big ships. I mean, we were on the Carnival Dream, which is a bigger ship. We've been on the Liberty, uh, been on the Sunshine. And I also, I haven't sailed on the Mardi Gras, cough, cough, I want to, uh, but the Mardi Gras is a big ship. But being somebody who's over 60, I am not opposed to these bigger ships. Now on one of the Facebook groups, I think it was John Heald's group, this guy came out, hey, I'm over 60 years old and we prefer the smaller ships or the mid ships and blah, blah. Well, listen, everybody's different, right? You like pepperoni on your pizza? I don't. You like pineapple on your pizza? I don't. Everybody has the different likes and dislikes. And usually the husbands and wives have <laughs> dislikes. The, the wife may want X, the, the husband wants Y. And that's why I took my brother-in-law on Virgin Voyages instead of my wife, because I don't think, you know, it's just not her cup of tea. It was fine with me, had a great time. And of course I, I was reporting on the Scarlet Lady. And I have to do give a shout out to Sir Richard Branson creating this experience of, uh, you know, no kids, no tipping, no gratuities. And I think I read somewhere when Sir Richard Branson was thinking about Virgin Voyages, he's been thinking about a cruise line for a long time, but he wanted like a yacht club experience uh, at sea and not be no buffets, no chow halls, you know, everything's included pretty much. Uh, and he really did a great job. He and his team have done an amazing job with Virgin Voyages. So let me just pivot back and kind of wrap this up. Big ships versus small ships. Go ahead and put in the comments below what you like. Do you like the big ships? Do you like the smaller ships? And if you want to, you can put, you know, your demographic, your age, whatever. Hey, I'm over 50 and big ships, I don't like them. I want to stick with the small. Fine, stick with the small ships. You know, here in Jacksonville, we have the Carnival Elation, which is around, I think, 2,500 passengers or so. Smaller ship, but it's older. And yeah, you got a guy's burger, but you don't have 10 different specialty restaurants like uh, a steakhouse and a, uh, you know, a sushi place and a taco place. And like, for example, my uh, wife, my two grandsons, my son-in-law and my daughter are going on the MSC Seashore uh, next week in August here. Now, does the MSC Seashore have a lot of specialty restaurants? They have a couple, but do they have a guy's burger? No. Do they have a blue cantina or whatever for taco? No. Do they have a good buffet? Yeah. Do they have kids club? Yeah. Do they have an infinity pool for the adults only? Yeah. So MSC, I think to a certain degree, they have it right where it is family friendly. But again, I think they're still working on a couple issues uh, regarding service, regarding the food. Everybody and their brother says the ships are beautiful. Great, MSC, the ships are beautiful. Good job. But I would just, like with World of Europa, I haven't been on that yet. <coughs> uh, but, you know, with MSC, of course, the Yacht Club, right? Now, everybody talks about MSC Yacht Club, a very, you know, uh, high-level experience, a lot of touches, the butlers with the white gloves and the special area to eat and the special area for this and the special, 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 you know, great Yacht Club if you're going to pay that elevated price. Kind of like on NCL, you have the Haven, or, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of another cruise line that has a, an elevated experience. It'll come to me in a minute. But the point is that MSC, I'm not, I'll be reporting on the MSC Seashore um, while I'm on the ship and uh, afterwards, but to let you know about that. But everybody's read the reviews about MSC 
We all know about uh, David and the other guy, I forget the name, uh, the, the, the experience they had on there, which MSC did fix, which is good. Uh, Brian and David, or David and Brian or something, they were filming and up in the Yacht Club and the whole big thing. Uh, but, and I've been seeing some reviews lately, but again, we're going on MSC for number one, it's close to where we live. We live in Jacksonville, so we're driving down to Port Canaveral. Uh, number two, I was on MSC last year and it was good, enjoyed it. And so, uh, you know, go take the grandkids on it. Now I will tell you, <laughs> I shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I talked to my daughter uh, who's gonna be 40 this year. And she goes, Dad, you know, just really carnival, kind of done with carnival. And I'm like, wow, um, I'm sorry to hear that because I'm platinum on carnival. I have over 80 days. And she was just saying, Dad, you know, we love Virgin Voyages. Her and my son-in-law love Virgin Voyages. No kids, elevated experience, everything's included, no tipping. So for my daughter and son-in-law, they are now sold on Virgin Voyages. And they have really kind of said, um, we're done with Carnival. And I said, well, what if, you know, my wife and I, uh, you know, took the grandkids on there and I'm sure she'd let us take them on Carnival, but she's kind of like saying we're done. It's gonna be interesting to see how she and my son-in-law like or dislike MSC. Uh, and so we'll see how that goes. So, you know, you're, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Scott, you, you rarely talk about NCL. Well, with NCL, Norwegian Cruise Line, um, I've been on the NCL Pearl for the Groove Cruise, EDM. Uh, thank you, Jason Bukema of Wet Travel for changing my life on the Groove Cruise, loved it. And of course, I was on the Blake Shelton Cruise on the NCL Pearl, which, you know, for those kind of charter cruises, I think NCL does a good job. But NCL is known for nickeling and diming. Uh, would you like the fresh squeeze orange juice? 250, you know? And so that's kind of their, their bad rap. But again, I probably need to go on NCL again. Okay, you're asking me about celebrity. Celebrity is again, this upper demographic, uh, 50 plus, and they're kind of rebranding. It's funny to see how they're rebranding. They're trying to reband it as a, you know, this lady with these big glasses, which I really wish they would have asked me about that. I, I don't think it's the right way to go, but you know, celebrity, I was on Celebrity Solstice when it rolled out, I loved it. Uh, Blue, they have a very nice restaurant. They, uh, they have the aqua class. So I do like celebrity quite a bit. But if you were to ask me, hey Scott, you prefer the bigger ships or the smaller ships? I actually like both. I would go on Mardi Gras any day of the week because they have a special area for veterans where you can sit in these big leather chairs, they have free ice cream, it, it's great. And it's right there, right by the uh, barbecue place. So that's kind of <laughs> ice cream barbecue. So I love the Mardi Gras. Would I go on the Elation, the Carnival Elation again, out of Jacksonville? Yeah, I would. I mean, it's a smaller ship. There's not a whole lot going on there, but, but and again, it's older. I mean, I grew up on the Carnival Fascination. We've got probably 15, 20 cruises on the Carnival Fascination, but that's another ship that over in Turkey, they put it up on the beach and it's, it's done. So uh, what do you like? Do you like the bigger ships? Do you like the smaller ships? Do you, would you consider going on Virgin Voyages, adults only? Would you consider going on MSC, which is, a more of a budget cruise line, but you better set your expectations accordingly. Do you like Carnival? Do you like Holland America? Do you like Celebrity? Celebrity, let me know. Scott Lehrer, president of militaryfairs.com, thecruisegenius.com. It's Wednesday, it's almost the weekend, and next week I'll be on the MSC Seashore. Have a good one.